everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. This video is part two of my skincare routine update. So the first one that I posted already was my morning skincare routine and now this one is my evening skincare routine. So if you haven't watched that one, I will put the link here. You can go over and watch the morning skincare routine. And if you watch these two back to back, then you can see my full skincare routine morning and evening. You know, I do these skincare routines because you guys want to see them. Uh, apparently you guys think that my skin looks terrific, which is great. Uh, I go back and forth on it, you know, because I see it live and in person and in different lights and less flattering light and with no makeup. And I think my skin looks pretty good for my age, but I think it's far from perfect. Uh, I do a lot of videos showing you my naked skin, showing you my before and after pictures, so you guys know that, you know, I'm 52, I have wrinkles, I have discolorations, I have age spots that I don't like. I don't like any of that stuff. So I do things in my skincare routine to fight it. Um, I feel like there are lots of anti-aging topicals that are in lots and lots of products these days. It's so confusing, it can make your head spin. But um, the good news is that they're not just in the high-end products anymore. The ingredients that you need to keep your skin um, strong and uh, not showing the signs of age so much are in the lower cost products now as well and they're good quality ingredients. The active ingredients that I look for are the vitamin A's, the vitamin C's, niacinamides, the um, glycolic acids, antioxidants, and peptides. So every one of my products has to have one or more of those ingredients in it. The uh, acids, vitamin C, uh, glycolic acid, and the tretinoin and the retin-A, they're all very harsh on the skin. So I look for ingredients in my over-the-counter um, products, whether it's my face wash or my moisturizer, that are going to help to calm and soothe and be, um, be really just kind and gentle to my skin. They're going to add a lot of extra moisture. Um, they're going to help to reduce redness. They're going to help to reduce irritation. All that peeling and all that exfoliating makes your skin extra photosensitive, which means extra sensitive to the sun. So you can get burned easier, you can have more inflammation, you can have more irritation. And you want to minimize that because really inflammation, irritation, uh, sunburn, that all really contributes greatly to the age that your skin looks. So. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the evening skincare routine now. I'm going to slide over here. I'm going to bring in some videos showing you each of the steps, how I do it, what it looks like, so you can see exactly where I put each of the different creams. Some I put on my eyelids, some I don't. Uh, some go down my neck, some don't. So let's bring in the video and let's get started with the evening skincare routine. At the end of the day, the first thing I want to do is take off my makeup. So since my cleansers are very mild, they don't really lift and remove the makeup that well. So for that, I use a makeup wipe. So the one that I like is the Kirkland Daily Facials Towelettes. I get these at Costco. They come in a huge box, and the huge box is like 10 or 12 bucks. So it lasts me three to six months using these every single night. Now what I like about these is that they're very mild. They contain cucumber, chamomile, and aloe, and vitamin E, so they're very soothing to the skin. The other thing is they don't have any of the drying alcohols in them. There is, uh, like the second or third ingredient is satyryl alcohol, but that is a fatty based alcohol, so it's not one of the drying ones. So you'll notice that all of my products are free of SD alcohols. I don't use anything that has um, alcohol or SD alcohol high up on the ingredient list on my face. I just feel like it's way too drying for older skin. So I specifically spend a lot of time looking for alcohol-free products and they're not that easy to find and so that's why I use them and I love them and boy do they remove makeup like crazy. <laughs> Uh, I remove my makeup with those, then it's on to washing my face. I was using a Clairsonic um, skin cleansing device for a couple of years that, there, but when I was having a bout with acne and it started to clear up, I found that um, my Clairsonic was irritating my skin too much and contributing to the acne, so I have stopped using that product. So now I just wash my face with my hands, both times I just, you know, whoop, whoop, with my hands. The face wash that I use is Eucerin Sensitive Skin Redness Relief Soothing Cleanser. Okay, and the reason that I like this one is because it is soap free. So I like my cleansers to be really mild. So that means that they don't contain anything that foams. They also contain ingredients that are moisturizing like glycerin or ingredients that are soothing like licorice root in the case of this one. 
Uh, so the licorice root helps to reduce redness and irritation, and I find that my skin really responds well to this, and it's nice and clean afterwards. But in case there is the last tiny little trace of makeup on my skin, the uh, next the final stage of the washing, it's a three-stage washing process because I decided that then I wanted to use a toner because I like the idea of being able to like wipe my face with a pad and then be able to see if there was any makeup residue left that it got off. And so um, in looking for a toner, it was really hard to find one that didn't have any alcohol in it. And so what I did, I was really into witch hazel. So I wanted to find a witch hazel based toner because witch hazel has been shown to be um, soothing to the skin, soothing and healing. It's also another antioxidant, so it scavenges those free radicals as well. There is a brand called Thayer's that has completely alcohol-free witch hazels. It actually comes in a couple of different flavors. This is the cucumber. It's like cool and refreshing, and it actually smells like fresh cucumbers. It's moisturizing, it's soothing. I use the pad, it removes the rest of my makeup, um, and so that is a nice little in-between step. All right, so now we go into the big guns of anti-aging, uh, my two prescription creams that I've been using. Uh, the first one is Retin-A. I just did a whole video on my two-year journey with Retin-A with before and after pictures, and so if you want to see that one, the link will be down below. Um, this Retin-A that I have here is the 0.05% generic cream. I know it says Retin-A right across the front. Um, this is actually a tube that I purchased in Mexico when I was on vacation there last April. They had a little pharmacy at the airport. While we were sitting there waiting for our flight, my husband hopped in there and he came out with two tubes of this for me. And I was so thrilled. I was like, oh, sweetie, always thinking of me. <laughs> so this is what I've been using uh, for the last I guess a month or so. Before that, I had a prescription for the generic. I can't say that I've really noticed any difference. I don't think this is any, you know, weaker or different from the American one. I think it's probably even made at the same factory in Mexico. But anyway, that's what this one is. And it cost about, I don't know, 10 bucks at the airport in Mexico. So if you're going to Mexico in the near future, uh, stop at the pharmacy and, you know, stock up because this is getting harder and harder to get here in the States. I just take a tiny pea-sized amount and I dot it around my face. Now, I've been using this for two years, so you'll see in the video that I put it under my eyes. You'll see also that I put it on my upper lip. Uh, when I first started with it, I could not do that. My skin was so sensitive uh, that it would make my under eyes feel like burned, like, like they had a sunburn, you know, hot and and uh, irritated. Upper lip, edges of nose, edges of lips, all did not respond, respond well to it. But this is the kind of thing that your skin can get used to it, but it does take time. So over the course of a year and nine months, my skin got used to it, and now I can put it up under my eyes. I still don't put it on my eyelids, but I think that because right afterwards I put on a serum and I smear everything from there up onto my eyelids, that it does get there and it has done great things for, for my eyelids. Um, after using this for two years, I love it and I will not be without it. I think it's done great things for my skin. I think I look younger uh, in my after pictures than I did two years prior. So that was awesome, which is convincing me that I'm going to stay on it, at least for now. Um, then the next thing that I put on is I got a prescription for hydroquinone because while that is awesome stuff. I didn't feel like it was helping that much with my discolorations. So I started using this about um, two months ago and I put it just basically on my cheeks where I have most of my age spots and discolorations and across the bridge of my nose where I also have a lot of discoloration. Now this I've read takes six months to start working and then it works really well. So I think I'm going to do it for the full six months and I will do a before and after video of course. Um, but I did talk to my derm yesterday about getting a, a, a Fraxel laser treatment, which would just take care of that stuff in a day. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this because it kind of smells bad. It smells like poo-poo. <laughs> I hate to say it. Like every time I squeeze out a little, I'm like, oh, God, I'm putting it on. I'm like, Ugh, this stuff is kind of yucky. Um, you know, the smell dissipates quickly, so it doesn't bother me that much. Um, again, this is a prescription. And... Um, my doctor did prescribe it and I did get it at CVS and I can't remember if insurance paid for it or not. I think they did. I think I just paid a $10 copay for it and that was that. 
If you watch my previous skincare routine, you know that I used to use an alpha hydroxy acid, otherwise known as glycolic acid treatment, alternating nights with the Retin-A or in the morning. When I went through the bout of acne, I found that it was mainly because of over uh, irritating my skin. Although it could have been hormonal and it just disappeared on its own, but what I found was that my skin does not like to be overly exfoliated and overly um, irritated. <laughs> it just doesn't like it. So I dropped the alpha hydroxy acid, but of course I'm like always hearing how great it is for your skin to exfoliate and get that dead surface layer off. So I wanted to add in something just a little. So I was at the um, cash register line at Ulta and I impulse purchased these Peter Thomas Roth um, unwrinkle peel pads. And I do use this once a week. Now you're supposed to use these like two or three times a week, but I don't do that. It's too much irritation and like I said, exfoliation for me. So I thought, well, let me just try to use them once a week and see how it goes. And if it's good, I will continue to use them. So I've been using these for probably about two months now, I'd say, and I do like it. This was really inexpensive. This was only 18 bucks for this. And there are, I think there's like 20 pads in here, maybe a couple more. Yeah, 20 pads. And, um, but they're big. And so, you know what? I cut them in half. <laughs> so I cut it in half and a half is enough to do my face. So you just um, wipe it around your face. You wait uh, two to three minutes and then you just splash it with warm water to rinse it off. And then you continue on with the rest of your skincare routine. So I do those uh, instead of the Retin-A on one day a week and that's it. And then I use the Retin-A every other day. The skin of the neck, um, as well as the skin under the eyes can be extra sensitive. And so I had been putting all of my anti-aging creams and things on my neck. I am unable to use my Retin-A on my neck. So instead, I have been using rosehip oil. And this is a natural oil, it's all organic, uh, but it's uh, high in vitamin A, which is what tretinoin is. But this is like a 20 times weaker cousin to that, okay? So you put this on, it's gonna take a lot longer to work, but it doesn't irritate my neck. So this one is called Oracacia, uh, Restoring Rosehip Oil with Vitamin E. It's certified USDA organic. I picked it up at Whole Foods and I was interested in trying it. I've been using it for about a month now. I'm not sure that I really see a big difference and really that I should see a big difference because if we know that prescription Tretinoin takes at least six months to work. Why would this work in a month if it's 20 times weaker, right? So based on that, it's gonna take a couple of years to work. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this when it's empty. This may not be staying, that may be changing out. And, but I do use this morning and night. I put it on my neck and my chest. Okay, so then after I finish putting that on, I, whoops. <laughs> I use my Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum. I have been using this since before the beginning of time. It's one of the things that even when I did finally start educating myself about my skincare, I was like, yay, I'm actually using something good. It's like 30 bucks, but I feel like it's worth it. It lasts a good three months using two pumps uh, at night. This one contains Palmitol Pentapeptide 4, which is one of the peptides that has been proven to work. Uh, the other thing that I love about this is that it has glycerin, it also has niacinamide, there's that niacinamide again, and it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. So this is packed full of all the good stuff that I want for my face in a smooth, elegant serum that I really love the feel of. I put this on, I put it on my eyelids, I put it everywhere. I just love this stuff, backs of hands, down the neck. Um, I, you know, I hoard it, I can't get enough of it. For me, this is like the product that keeps my skin in its happy face, face, place, happy face place. I used to use it twice a day because I'm trying the, um, the Timeless Matrixel. I'm down to using this once a day, but I don't see any um, uh, adverse effects to that. And then the last thing I put on before it's lights out and time for bed is a nice heavy duty moisturizer to keep my skin moisturized and drinking in fluids all night long. I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin looks, you know, more youthful, more fresh, more dewy. It's soft as a baby's bottom. I just love it. So anyway, this is Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. It is the sister product to the Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum. These both were reformulated about a year ago uh, to include a 
huge dose of niacinamide, which as you know from earlier in the video, I am in love with currently. So second on the ingredient label of this is niacinamide. It also has glycerin and all kinds of nice moisturizing ingredients. Like I said, it keeps my skin moisturized all night. <clears throat> helps to repair my skin's uh, barrier function. For the lips, for at night before I hop into bed, I am using good old Aquaphor. This is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy for Dry Cracked Skin. I tried a lot of different um, lip balms for overnight and this one was by far the best one. Just take a tiny little bit on my finger, rub it on my lips, and it stays all night and helps keeps my, keep my lips moisturized so that when I wake up in the morning, they, uh, I can still feel it on there. They feel great. All right, so that wraps up my evening skincare routine. I uh, hope that you found the video helpful and informative. Um, I hope that if you are looking for products to do some of the same kind of things for your skin that uh, I am, that you might give these products a try. I find them to be really terrific. I know there's a lot of steps, but it's not really that much. Have you seen the Japanese videos where they're doing like 18 different steps in the morning and 20 different steps at night? Um, I think this is pretty streamlined. It doesn't take very long. There's really no waiting. I just slap everything right on top of each other. Uh, no lines, no waiting. And uh, that helps to streamline it and make it quick. And I think that um, skin is most absorbent right after it was wet, so I like to put it all on there so it can just soak right in and lock the water onto the surface of my skin and keep the moisture in there, like I said. So that is the evening skincare routine. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate your time. So as always, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.